Well, we just had a thriller with Derek Carr completing a pass to Zay Jones, you know, wide open pass too, to end the Baltimore Las Vegas game. What a great game that was. What a great way to cap off week one. And I'm just here, you know, to wrap things up, you know, just to give it a little bit of a cadence to this weekend. Let me tell you, it started off great. Fortunately, a little bit of ref ball, you know, got the way of it at the end of the Cowboys Buccaneers game. I was a little bit sad, you know, that the Buccaneers did in fact pull it out over my Dallas Cowboys, but that's okay. We, we still have 17 weeks left to go. And the Cowboys, you know, for all intents and purposes, you know, they, they played it real tough. We're talking the Buccaneers defense was injured throughout this entire game. And, you know, I mean, well, especially the secondary, especially the secondary, you know, Murphy Bunting got injured, and another guy got injured, and, you know, I mean, it was back and forth between the Cowboys and the Buccaneers. I mean, Dak was throwing it to Amari Cooper, and it seemed like nobody could stop Amari Cooper out there on the field. It was just crazy, man. It was just crazy. Let me tell you. I'm like, wow. Wow, man. Wow. So the Seahawks, on the other hand, Seahawks, who oh boy. It seems like they fixed their offense in the offseason, and it seems they've become more balanced. Their attack has become more balanced, and the line's looking like they're protecting you know, folks now. And somehow, Carson Wentz was able to play for the Colts in that game. I don't know why. I don't know how, but um, you know, the Seahawks easily took care of the Colts. I mean, whew, Russell Wilson going to be throwing bombs to Tyler Lockett all season. I mean, sign me up. Sign me up. Um, the Texans, yeah, the yeah, the yeah. I I, I, said, I I said a little bit too much about the Texans. I did not realize, you know, that they just had a bunch of players that have gotten casted off from other places, like Latavius Murray. No wait, Latavius Murray is on the, um, the he's on the Ravens. I'm talking about Mark Ingram. My bad. My bad. Mark Ingram's out there in Houston. Danny Amendola's out there in Houston. Like, what is going on out here? Tyrod Taylor is starting for the Texans. And, oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, Irvin Meyer. Yeah. And, and Sunshine. Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, Sunshine. He debuted. He didn't look too good. I mean, that, that's just to be expected. You know, that Urban Meyer offense, you know, probably isn't going to translate very well to the NFL. The Jags have lost 16 straight games dating back to last season. Somebody's got to get it together. Somebody's got to do something. And the Eagles, man, the Eagles. Oh, boy. Let me tell you. Boy, the, the, the Eagles was hitting hard out there. What is going on out there? What is going on? They were hitting the Falcons hard. They blew out the Falcons. That, that's the first sign of things to come for the Falcons this year. It's going to be a lot of painful times for the Falcons. I mean, the Falcons just look like they looked, they looked terrible out there. We're talking like they were, they were getting, you know, chucked around, you know, ran all over by Miles Sanders. Jalen Hurts was completing passes, you know, and it seems like, you know, the Eagles have a new head coach too, remember. Uh, it seems like the Eagles you know, had something you know nice and simple. They had a nice game plan. They made it look easy out there, and that that's just the type of blowout you want. Thirty-two to six. Uh, I can't be mad at that. Can't be mad at this result either. The Chargers, yes, the Chargers took uh, took out the Washington Football Team. Congrats. Congrats to the Chargers. They'll be facing the Cowboys next week. Oh boy, Justin Herbert is looking really nice. And then again, now the big game early in the afternoon, real quick. You know, Steelers Bills. It really felt like the Bills were supposed to blow out the Steelers here, but yet a couple of mistakes by the Bills. You know, like we're talking. I, I genuinely don't know what some of these mistakes were by the Bills. Like these were just some baffling mistakes that the Bills decided to make. There was a couple times where the Bills went for it, and it just didn't work out. It did not work out. Like I believe a punt got blocked, if I'm not mistaken, and that really set things up for the Steelers, and like I, I just don't know what in the world happened. It felt it felt like two different games out here. 
and, and and it didn't even feel like the Steelers even dominated because they couldn't really get anything going. That offensive line was getting bullied, you know, by, by the Bills' defense. That offensive line is still kind of new for the Steelers. They still got bullied out there, so I don't I don't know. I really don't know now. Let me tell you that. I just don't know about you know the Steelers right now. They're they're they're, they're confusing me. They're they're confusing me already. It ain't even been one week, and then here we are with confusion. So what about those 49ers? You know, Jimmy G still in the QB battle with Trey Lance. Um, I mean, it seems like Jimmy G's kept this job for now, but that 49ers defense, you know, shouldn't have let Jared Goff and the Lions, you know, come all the way back like that. How do you barely sneak out a win against the Lions like this? This is not, this is not okay. Like, I'm telling you, what in the world was that the, the, the 49ers were up, what, 41 to 17, yet somehow the Lions still had a chance to tie it with less than 30 seconds to go. Like, this is just, this is something, you know, this is really, really something. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. And what about the Bengals? Yes, Joe Burrow and the Bengals. They, they got a victory. What kind of world are we living in where the Bengals have a victory? Man. And it, it's got to feel good for Joe Burrow, you know, coming back after that injury. And it was a great, you know, I only saw the end of this game, but it was a great way. To, and he even got Jamar Chase for a touchdown as well. You know, Burrow, the Chase, that connection is back. And I mean, man, got to feel good for the Bengals to get that victory. Got to feel good for the Panthers too, man. Um, I mean, what can you say about this Panthers team? You know, the, the, I mean, it's going to be an interesting season for them as well. I mean, they they beat the Jets, but I mean, you know, Sam Darnold got his revenge. I know, right? It's so weird, you know, to see a guy like Sam Darnold freed from the shackles of the New York Jets. It's so weird, and yet here we are. You know, here we are with the Carolina Panthers. It's going to be fun to watch this team this year while they continue to rebuild. And under Matt Rule, well, they, I mean, man, I mean, it, it wasn't like this game was really, you know, that bad or anything, I mean, the Jets still, they scored a couple of touchdowns in this game, Ooh. man, 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 Who Chandler Jones got five sacks for the Cardinals, you gotta be kidding me, five sacks against Ryan Tannehill and the Titans? What is this? Derrick Henry, non-factor. Kyler Murray throwing four TDs, including one passing TD to T to um, D Hop. That was a ten toes. You know what a spectacular. You know D Hop continues to give us spectacular catches each and every year. I swear, each and every week for years and years now. I mean, DeAndre Hopkins is a treasure that should be treasured. If the Cardinals blew out the Titans, I'm sitting here like, huh? That can't be right. They really blew out the Titans. Man. What kind of world are we coming to right now? What kind of world are we coming to, man? And let's take a look at these late games. You know, the Dolphins, they beat the Patriots in the debut of Mac Jones. You know, the Tua, you know, the Tua Mac Jones connection with the whole saving thing. You know, Alabama quarterbacks. Yeah. Um, it was a hard-fought game. I didn't see this game, unfortunately. I didn't really see this at all. Um, you know, Dolphins barely got by. But, I mean, hey, it is what it is. Um, the Broncos, they got Teddy Bridgewater out there now. With, I mean, a big play by Melvin Gordon. You know, a big touchdown run from him. And, I mean, the Giants are still the Giants. I mean, what can you say about the Giants that hasn't been said already? A couple turnovers by Daniel Jones, as usual. I mean, if, I mean, at least they kept it close. I mean, you can say, I mean, that, that that's good, right? You know, but the Broncos, Broncos. A lot of people are really high on the Broncos this year. It's like a sleeper team. I'm really, I'm really interested to see and how they do as the year progresses. Um, but the two big games in the late window were the Chiefs and the Browns, in which the Browns it looked like. It looked like the Browns had Kansas City's number for most of this game. They were up by as much as, what, 16 points for most of this game. But the Chiefs, you know, once Baker Mayfield threw that turnover late, and things just went downhill from there. And the Chiefs 
were able to sneak it out, you know, and a big throw from Patrick Mahomes to Tyreek Hill as well. Just, whew, man, Chiefs, you, you, they're going to be the ones running the league for a while now. They're, they're, they're going to be running the league until Patrick Mahomes' contract runs out. They're going to be running this league for a while, you know. And, you know, the Browns, they gave up a really good fights, but they just didn't have enough in the tank to at the end of the day. Um, but Jameis Winston, that's right, Jameis Winston, out there in Jacksonville because of the hurricane, just threw five touchdowns against the Packers. The Packers looked awful. Awful. What is this? I mean, you got Aaron Rodgers just looking dejected the entire game. I'm sitting here like, man, like what's going on with the Packers? Like, they were, uh, like, Rodgers was throwing interceptions. I mean, the Saints got a couple sacks out there, too. And it never felt like the Packers' defense could stop the Saints at all. I mean, I don't think Jameis had 150 yards passing. I mean, this was, this was just beyond bizarre. I mean, that... that that, that terrible penalty notwithstanding, uh, that was not roughing the pass or anything like that. That was not, I mean, it was a clean hit, whatever. But, um, yeah, the Saints just absolutely dominated the Packers. This is, I mean, maybe that drama played a factor into it. I mean, I don't know. We don't know. I mean, the Packers just got bullied out there. Same thing with the Bears. They really got bullied by Matthew Stafford. And the Rams, you know, I don't, I don't think we really heard Aaron Donald that much um, last night. But I mean, the Bears are still the Bears. They keep, they're gonna keep teasing us with Justin Fields, and you know, Andy Dalton probably isn't it for Chi Town. It is what it is. There, you know, the Bears have a lot of a room for improvement. They just looked awful on offense for most of that game. And, I mean, defense was just not good either. I mean, they kept getting burnt by Cooper Cup. How do you keep getting burnt by this man? They they kept, they, they just kept getting burned by Cooper Cup. It, it, it didn't make any sense out there. And last but not least, that Raiders-Ravens game that I'll mention where it seemed like, you know, for a while the Ravens were going to gonna get out of the, Vegas with a win. And, but I mean, there was a couple things wrong. First off, when they had Lamar Jackson throwing the ball way too much, like, there were several, several passes in which Lamar, where he just, he just overthrew guys, or the ball was just not placed there correctly. I, I was just sitting here like, how many times is he going to, because there was a drive where the Ravens, you know, threw it three straight times and Lamar missed all three throws and I was sitting here like why why I mean the Raiders made some dumb decisions as well I mean we're talking the Raiders had it was you know what fourth down in the third quarter and yet they didn't decide to take the points we could have we could have decided this game in regulation but no we get a thrilling overtime finish for this game but it's okay though. It's okay, you know. If the Raiders, they're, they're gonna need somebody to step up a little bit more. I mean, I don't think you should be targeting Darren Waller so many times. You know, 20 times a game. I mean, they have guys there. They have guys like Rugs and Renfro. But I mean, who who made big plays? But again, Zay Jones got the touchdown at the end. And I mean, I mean, it's just it's just it was crazy, crazy game. Let me tell you that. I, mean, I, I loved every second of this game, man. What a week. I'm glad. I'm glad the NFL is back. So, yeah, that'll pretty much do it. I have nothing else to say. I'm going to get on out of here. Go straight to bed. Upload this. And finish off the week with my week two preview. Which will be coming, I don't know, like, I don't know, probably two. No, no, not Tuesday. Actually, either Wednesday or Thursday, like I've been saying over the past few weeks. So that'll that'll do it here. Y'all like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. You know, click the notification bell, all that, all that other stuff that I keep saying each and every video. Blah blah blah. And I'll see you again soon, everybody.